that's been put before. Some, some of the parents here might have had a child that made up in his or her mind that I don't like what mom and daddy cook, so I'm not going to eat. They, they didn't come to our house. We might have had it in mind, but it didn't come out of our mouth. We, we need to know who the bread of life is so we will know what we eat. Amen. You see, there, there are parents who can cook. Some do what we call cooking a little better than others. And when that parent, let, let, me, let me take it off the parent. Let, let, let's take it to uh, Mac Burger and Burger King. And, and, uh, uh, Pizza Hut, yeah, all of them places. Now, 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 some of those things you all like better than others. Don't go get me a Big Mac. You, you don't know if it's healthy for you or not. Help me, Holy Ghost. It, it, it look why they can make that thing. I be tempted sometimes myself. Like catch me at a place where McDonald's is on the side. I'll be looking at that Big Mac and they fix it so the lettuce can hang down and hide up all of that greasy meat. Help me, Holy Ghost. These are your people. I, uh, I be tempted and, 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 and I was coming one day, but. My stomach told me I was so hungry well. that I just had to have something to eat. And there was a Wendy's on the side. And I said, you know, that, that one Wendy burger is not going to hurt anything. I went in there and got a double cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. You can say that's a good one. Double cheese with uh, uh, two pieces of meat and mm. all of that greasy mayonnaise and all that <laughs> other stuff. And I went back and sit in the car and started eating. I said, this is good. And guess what I did? Mm. I went and got another one and took it home with me. <laughs> and and uh, something told me I was hungry a little later on. And I ate that thing. Mm -hmm. Didn't sleep at all that night. <laughs> <laughs> you see, sometimes we eat what look good right. and it's not good for us. Right. See, now, I, I could have waited until I got home because I did have a little chicken in the box there. I could have warmed up, but that that burger sure didn't look good out there. The little girl with the plants and the bones on it. And, and, I, I'm a, I'm, and listen, I had to take Maylocks and everything else to try to see. See, that's what we are going through in life with when we keep eating all of this stuff that look good. People saying things good. And we go and digest it and get it down in us. And that is what is causing us to have so many problems. Amen. Amen. We, 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 we send our children to school. And all of the stuff that come at them from every side. Help me, Holy Ghost. I got to get this one out. All of the things that they look at on these iPhones is not good bread. And, and, but, but, but it look good when you mashing that thing and all of this stuff is popping up on it and, and you forget about what you have been told at home and you start playing with all of this stuff and forget the bread of life and the next thing you know you're in trouble. Yes. I'm 
I'm trying to say something that keeps somebody out of trouble. Amen. But, but the bread of life right. yes. is he which came down yes. from heaven yes. to give eternal life to all who will accept it. And guess what? Now, let, let, let me hurry on and get finished. Uh, uh, the bread of life come down and it's free. Yes. Amen. But all of this other stuff we go and get, we have to pay for that. Amen. Amen. Isn't that something you you will pay your way to hell and won't we'll go to heaven for free? God is real. Yes, He is. This bread, they they say evermore. Give us this bread. They wanted the bread, but what they were really saying is. I want this bread because it's free. Notice the word give mm -hmm. us this bread. Uh -huh. And then when Jesus went on to explain to them what you got to do to eat it, you, don't, you can't buy it with money. Right. Mm -hmm. No, you can't bake it in your store. Mm -hmm. But I'm on my way to Calvary mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to deposit enough bread up there that you can eat the rest of your life. All right, all yes. right, yes. But then they say, wait a minute now. If, if we eat this bread that you're talking about, wow. I, I'm going to have to love somebody that did me wrong. Wow. Jesus wow. said, yeah, you're wow. going to have to do that. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I'm going to have to walk with someone that I don't like walking with. Jesus said, yeah, you're going to have to do that. I'm going to have to get up and go to church on Sunday. Oh, Lord, you're putting too much on me. I, I just go on and buy me a Big Mac and go on there. <laughs> that, that's what we be saying. You see, Jesus said, I want to give to you. McDonald said, two for 99. Uh -huh. <laughs> They make it seem cheap, good. Uh, yeah. Less than three dollars. Yeah, less than three dollars. They that's right. Y'all help me now. They they do all of that. That's the way Satan get our attention. I think we mentioned in Sunday school this morning about these iPhones and all. I got one and I don't bring it in here because sometimes I don't know what to push to get what I want. So, so I leave it out in the truck when I have a lot of time to mess with it until I get the right thing. If you don't know what you're eating, don't bother to eat. All of these things are good, but they are good in the proper place at the proper time. Give us this bread. And, and you see, sometimes we get in such a hurry to get something, yes. and then when the answers start coming, you, you, you know you're going to have to visit the sick. You're going to have to take care of the widows and their children. Right. The widow's husband does not have to be dead for her to be a widow. Maybe he just ran off. Widow wow. <laughs> means without. The church is supposed to minister to you. You, you mean I got to minister to someone that I don't like? I haven't spoke to him in 20 years, and now you're expecting me to hold a hand and pray with them? Yeah, you got to do that. Back to windows. <laughs> Listen, we have got to have our feet planted on solid ground. Amen. <laughs> And don't worry because somebody don't like you. Well. Mm -hmm. you, you do know about Jesus, though. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him, you know about him. Mm -hmm. they, they marched him mm -hmm. from hall to hall. Mm -hmm. yes. they, they spat up on him. Mm -hmm. They slapped him in the face. Mm -hmm. and, and they say, well, now look. All you got to do is promise not to preach anymore. Yes. Jesus said, I eat my father's bread. All right. All right. That, that's the way we're going to have to do church. 
fearful. I have to run out and eat something before I can preach sometimes. I'm getting better though. I believe somebody praying for me. But, but, but let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how long I stay here. It doesn't matter when the Lord called me home. It, listen, if you were living out there in the woods in a tent, and someone gave you a nice house. And they said, the house is ready. You, you don't have to live in the woods no more. Come on, home. You'll be glad to get out of the woods and go to the good house. All I'm saying is, I'm not worried about the woods. Because I know when I leave here, I got a house don't eat no more. Oh, I, I, I feel all right this morning. And, and what I want us to understand is Jesus wasn't just talking about getting the stomach full. In that very next verse, down at verse 34, verse 35, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me liveth on me shall never, never, Thirst. You ain't gonna thirst. You ain't gonna get hungry. Eat the bread that's good for you. See, people are not here telling you don't eat no hog and all that. I'm gonna tell you right now, hog is endangered species around me. <laughs> but 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 I'm gonna try to fix it right. Now I'm not telling you to eat no hog. I ain't tell you that. But I tell you I eat it. Be, because God says, I will give you your needs. Jesus said, my father who sent me. And I told Paul of Tasha to tell him, all things are good in moderation. I'm going to eat me a piece of hog today. But I, I'm not going to try to get fat off of it. I'm going to eat a little bit and go home. But what I'm trying to say is, 